Hey lad buddies, some more stuff here. When I was in here, this is exciting. Well, kind of exciting if you're a bit of a nerd like me. You probably are a nerd like me. Admit it. Taped on as well, that's helpful. They've made this really hard to open, I hate that. Check out the merch while you're waiting. Right, just some capacitors. These are 10 microfarad 63 volt caps. Not very exciting, are they? After all that, I've got a bunch of stuff here from RS as well, so I'm probably going to just do them all one after the other. They're probably not that exciting. I'll sharpen that just now. I still can't get in. Ugh. Seriously, even. Is that nice to grab it? Wow. So what they've done to the packaging is like concrete. Okay, I'm in. What are they? Green LEDs. 0603, quite high brightness ones too, I think. I got these in my Dashron project, so I'm thinking about what I'll do is when I do the final boards for displays, which I've got sitting right here, I want to do the enunciators as different colours. So I was thinking rather than just having a plain, all the same colour display, because that's what they always have been, because the nature of them, well, if I'm putting LEDs in, why don't I put some colours in there? I don't know how the green's going to come out because of the orange filter on the front display. I'm not sure if it's going to filter the green out or not, I'm not sure. It may just like disappear. I'm going to have to experiment with that, I suppose. Hopefully it comes out. But I thought I'd do some different, different colours. I could have, you know, white, green, red, for different nunchakers. So if it's doing, say, resistance ranges, for example, you have green for resistance ranges, or you could have, you know, red for things like remote or calibration modes, that kind of thing. That's why I didn't mind, anyway. Whether I end up doing it or not, I don't know. It's just messing around, trying to change, you know, get the right dyes in all places, but uh, I might do it. Ooh, there's a lot in this one. And I think I don't even need them now. Ah, oh, it's okay. So these are some TL074 op amps. And so there you go, they're in there. And these little holders to protect the pins. So I've got 10 of those. Thought I might need them for my Marconi. My uh, 2955 is that there's some issues with audio on the AF output. And I, after doing some diagnosis, I actually I don't think it's any of these parts anyway, I think it's something else. But I don't have any of these parts, and I'm thinking, well, I'll get some before they become unavailable, because I was looking around, I think, lots of places didn't have them. So, I've got some, well, I could get them. Don't forget to check out links for anything down below, or things which I can give you links for. If it's not ROS or LM14, or like that, I'll give you links. But if it is these companies, then I probably can't. Oh, I can't cut through these bags. That works. So what do we have here? AD7528JNZ. So that's a analog to digital converter. Got two of those. These are fairly expensive devices. This particular one is two channel eight bit. That's that one. And what's this one here? Got two of those as well. These are AD7524JNZ. These are also two channel eight bit digital analog converters. These are for the Marconi, which. It uses these as part of the audio circuitry, but probably also some other stuff. They may also be using other Marconi bits of gear, so they're expensive. But now I've got some. Pays to get them while you can, especially if you're going to be repairing old gear like me. That's a big box. I'm not sure why. Guess we'll find out. Get some paper. Yay. No. Okay, what we got here? Some more parts. Right. Obviously because it's in a tube. So these are SN74LS273N and these are three state D-type flip-flops. 25 of them in there. It's a bit unworldly, but um, unworld, unworldly? Unwieldy. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I'll probably cut up in small pieces, do something with it, make it so I can fit it somewhere. But again, these are for the Marconi. Um, these are part of that AF circuitry and they're, they're quite commonly used anyway and other things so I got myself some whilst again I could get them. Things things are getting harder to find, these through hole parts are getting a bit of a problem in cases. Right, here we go. Moment of truth, what's this thing? Oh look, it's got a display hanger. This might be a clue to anyone knows who it's from. This is on here. Whoops. 
<laughs> uh, any ideas yet? No? How about now? No? How about now? No? There we go. EV block, no bullshit packaging. I'm going to get a bag for that. Mm. That's right, I bought something from Dave. What did I get? It's a multimeter. He did a little post for his Patreons the other day saying he's got his stock in of his new multimeter. And I thought, a day before that, I saw someone needed a bunch of multimeters doing some testing on a power supply of a piece of gear. Forgotten their name now. There's another channel which is doing some quite interesting repair stuff. They do stuff a bit older than mine. Um, was I tend to do like 80s, 90s gear, they were doing sort of 70s sort of era instead. So you might check them out too. If I can remember the name, I'll chuck it down below in the description. Anyway, they were repairing a piece of quite large gear and they haven't completely rebuilt it because they had a lot of physical damage and they're testing all the power supplies and they had all these multimeters lined up. I check each supply at the same time instead of going through one after the other. Anyway, I saw that the day before and then Dave posted that he's got his new meter out. You know, he's got, he's got stock now. So naturally, that time was perfect <laughs> because now I um, own a new multimeter, another one. <laughs> I bought this one not long ago, so I've got a few of them now. Anyway, so this is the BM seven eight six multimeter. Does oh, they batteries? Oh no, batteries! I've been ripped off, Dave. It's probably a postage thing. It's fine. I've got batteries, I'm sure. So what do you have? Anyway, we've got some these little protective cap things, silicon leads, you have these screw-on banana jack adapters, there's four mil adapters that go on those. Handy things to have sometimes. Um, these are I think the same leads as on my other meter actually, my one I put over here, this is a brown one as well. I think it's the same leads. Um, so a pair of those and a temperature probe as well. Pretty basic kind of adapter set, but no battery. Oh, I don't know. What does it take? 1.5 volt triple A's times three. Okay, that must be under this cover here. I think it was. So I'm powering up today. Was that in shot? Even I don't know. Was that even in shot? Should I pill it? No. Or or should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pill it. Let's pill it. Which way should we do this? Oh, I'm after this one, I think. Here we go. Nerd porn. Here we go. Is even even nicely focus? So yes, another multimeter for the bench. So thanks a lot Dave. These weren't expensive either. I seem to put some batteries in it. So it's actually about the same kind of size, actually slightly smaller than this meter here, which is the um, 869S, BM869S, which I bought just before Christmas. It's a lot thinner. It's almost, you know, I don't know, it's probably two thirds of thickness. Slightly shorter, slightly narrower. You can't really see that, but yeah, slightly narrow. There you go. Alright, so it's not as bulky as this one. Feature set is similar, I suppose, but yeah, I don't know. I have to play with it. I haven't actually looked at it too much. Um, I just thought I need another multimeter, and Dave made this available, so I'm going to get one. And luckily, I was one of the first ones to get in, so I actually managed to get one before we ran out of stock. So I think we're out of stock at the moment, but I expect we'll get more in at some point. But things these days are pretty tough for that, trying to get stock. You know, shipping has been a bit of a nightmare everywhere, not just here, in or Australia or Europe. It's been shipping. Anyway, I'm waffling. <sighs> Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you've not been here before, click the bell icon. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I should be pairing this up, really, shouldn't I? Maybe I'll go later on. I'm running out of time today.